Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Good to have you back with us for the six as we look at a foggy bayfront. Can't even see the top of the bicentennial tower there as you look at Dobbins Landing on our auto dais and truck camera. Over here in downtown Edinburgh, 6 and 99, a little misty down there. Streets are dry. Sam Catania painting camera looking at that intersection. So we're good as far as avoiding rain is concerned for now, but you can see it already shooting up through Cincinnati and Louisville and Richmond. So everything's coming out of the south. That's why it's mainly warm. And we don't expect this to come uh, at least in Erie until probably about 10 o'clock at night, of course, earlier if you live to the south of Erie. So we go through some rain, maybe a few heavy downpours. Uh, it's lessening by morning and trying to move out as we go on into tomorrow afternoon. How much can you expect? Uh, at least a quarter of an inch and maybe some areas up to a half inch uh, from this. And uh, then we take a break. So our temperatures, again, this is eerie, just flatlining in the upper 30s because of all the clouds and the northeast wind. But if you want to take a peek ahead, uh, Saturday looks like the best day of the weekend. Rain and snow holding off at night until late at night, I should say. Could have some wet, slushy snow Sunday morning. Could get a couple inches, maybe even more out of that. But uh, we got time to figure out that stuff uh, as we go further. Monday gets colder and Tuesday is that seasonable temperatures for late January. So uh, 48 for our high, 39 the low in present temperature. The averages are 35 and 20. Nine hours, 46 minutes of daylight as the flood and mud season continues tonight. Rain returning mid to late evening, but drier tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, some numbers for you, 38, Niagara Pier, 43 in McCain, 45 in Corey and Dewittville, 42 in Greenfield, 51 North Meadville, Sagertown, 46 Canadota Lake, out east Warren at 47, Cooperstown at 54. So all the mild air is to the south because the winds close to the water are off the 33 degree lake, but down here unaffected by that. So you're in a more spring-like pattern. However, the closeness of the temperature to the dew point still causing low visibilities in some areas in fog. So that's what we've got going tonight. Storm coming northeast towards us, fog around the area. Uh, as we look to the north and west, the cold and Arctic air has been bottled up in Canada. We'll keep an eye on that for you as we give you quick maps in motion because one of the models saying may be revisiting in another week. But for now, rain tonight, moving out for tomorrow, and then we get that break as we go on into Saturday. After that, however, Saturday night, another one starts coming up, and this one could have some colder air, and you can see the snow denoted there, possibility late Saturday night, Sunday morning. Areas of fog and rain towards midnight along the lakeshore, 37 to 40. If you're south of 90 inland, Cory, Cambridge, Oil City, rain over spreads south to north this evening. You're 40 to 44 by morning. Jamestown, Warren, and Ludlow, again, rain spreading north, areas of fog, 38 to 42. So scattered morning showers, not a lot of rain tomorrow. Those highs will be in the first half of the day and then they will fall. But as stated, tomorrow night is fairly tranquil and so is Saturday before we get some slushy snow late Saturday night and Sunday morning. Monday's a break, a few more showers Tuesday and depending on uh, what happens by the end of the week, we could have some mix going to some snow uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, you could check out that seven day, the radars as well as the cameras on the York Erie to go out. So a little bit more time for the snow to melt and then, and then we may, we'll probably replenish it a little. Yeah. Okay. All right, Tom, thank you. Yeah.